so finally we have our general solution for our tangent function. So this is just x equals to n times pi plus the inverse tan of alpha. So just remember this as part of your general solutions. So the best way is to just write that on a piece of paper and stick it up on your wall on somewhere that you see regularly and you'll memorize it in no time. All right, so this is our general solution. Let's use it in some questions together now. So question 32, we want to find the general solution of tangent x equals to 1 on square root 3 in terms of pi. So this is our general formula here. Let's substitute the alpha for 1 on square root 3. Now tan of what equals to 1 on square root 3? Good, that's going to be pi on 6. So we just write it as n pi plus pi on 6. Yeah. So remember, this n makes it the general solution. It could be any integer. Great, so that's 32. Let's move on to question 33 now. So in question 33, we want to find the general solution of tan x plus 1 equals 0 in terms of pi. So this is our general formula here. Now, all we've done here is we've just rearranged this so tan x equals to negative 1, yeah? So a lot of the times I'll give you the equation and you need to rearrange it to be able to substitute it into the general solution. So now we can see we can just substitute negative 1 into alpha and we think to ourselves the tan of what gives us negative 1? Well, the first thing we want to do is remove the negative from that. So you know how you can take the negative out? of 1. So that is just going to be negative of that and that's pi on 4. So x just equals to n pi minus pi on 4 there. Yeah and because there's no plus or minus in front if it's negative we just write minus pi on 4 like that. Great. So remember sometimes we do need to rearrange the equation before we can substitute it into the general solution. Okay let's move on now. So in question 34, we want to solve this equation here of tan x equals to 1 on square root 3, but within the given domain of 0 and 2 pi. So we're going to use the general solution to work out the actual values between that domain. So general solution, substituting in 1 on square root 3, we have tan negative 1 of 1 on square root 3 and we just think to ourselves tan of what equals 1 on square root 3 and that's pi on 6. So this here is our general formula. So now we need to find out the actual values. So remember how I said always start with n equals to 0? So we just have 0 plus pi on 6 which is pi on 6. Yes that does fit in there so we know that's good. Now, substituting in n equals to 1, we just have pi plus pi on 6. 7 pi on 6, is that between the domain? Good, it is, isn't it? So you can just give it a tick or some, something to show yourself that it does fit within that domain. Now, if you substitute in 2, you're going to have 2 pi plus this. That's going to be too large. Whereas if you're substituting in negative, negative pi plus pi on 6 is still not going to make it greater than 0. So therefore, your two values are just going to be pi on 6 and 7 pi on 6. So once again, you've seen how we can actually use a general solution in more, that, more than one ways that we can use it to solve these equations for between a certain domain.